I'll be starting the video in just one moment, but let me just give you the background of this case. This patient came to me about five years ago, and she had a ill-fitting upper bridge. A dentist had placed her implants, and the implants were actually very poor angled and not deep enough. So we did replace the bridge with what's called a Marius bridge. So this is going to show you some of the details about the Marius bridge as an option. Now if I had placed the implants for this patient, my go-to option would have been the all-in-four treatment concept. But now we have implants that are shallow, that are actually very positioned to the facial, so very angular, so not a very good option. But we did the Marius bridge about five years ago. The patient's back looking good, and we're going to do a checkup for her and show you some of the aspects of the Marius bridge that helped us to restore this case. Okay, so we're here with Gwenny. We can see you have a, an upper Marius bridge, and you had this done somewhere else, a lower uh, fixed bridge. How's everything been feeling the last five years? Wonderful. Yeah. Comfortable. Yeah. Uh, my bite is better. No headache. Good. Uh, I can eat anything. And so we're going to just demonstrate how this kind of comes in and out. So we can see here, if I push this little ring, you can see underneath inside, there's actually a kind of little arm that comes through. So this little arm is what holds it in. So there's a little kind of catch that goes through. So as I push it like that, so if I push this pin back and forth, so this is a Marius bridge. And when we go into this channel and push it, it unlocks it. So you can see the tori from clenching. So when we take this bar out, I mean the, the bridge out, you can see underneath is the meso bar and bar. And so this is what holds in the front, a 45 degree, not 45 degree bevel, but I think it's about a 15 degree bevel. I have to check that. And then there's little spots where the pins lock in underneath. So this has been very successful for her. She showed up to me with a fixed bridge that she couldn't clean that was ill-fitting and had problems and she's a clencher. So putting this back in, we still have to be concerned about clenching. So we push this in, we push the other side in and then we just bite together. You can see the occlusion. Okay, so our goal is to make this so she's not gonna clench. Now, we made a B-splint and a B-splint is something with a lower runner bar. So lower runner bar means coming from the canine to the canine, allowing the support to be on this. But on a bridge on the lower, it's not as critical, but on natural teeth, I like to have the support all the way to the canines. The upper, we put that in. So when she bites together, it includes, you can see that she's not getting any pressure on the posterior teeth. And so this is something that is really important. And so this is going to turn down the elevator muscles, so the temporalis, the masseters. It's going to turn off even the pterygoids, so she's not going to have the pain up inside of here that she usually had. Now, are you finding a difference in how things have been since you had this device? Yes, yes. No headaches, no pain going up here. Um, yes, I am a clencher, so when I get up in the morning, I don't have any of that head pain or face pain. I yeah. used to get fit pain here in the face yeah. in the morning, but now I get up in the morning after my guards are in and no discomfort whatsoever. Now, we have you in for maintenance appointments. We do that once a year. Yes. And you've been very faithful for the last five years coming yes. in. Yes. So we go and check your torque, sometimes x-rays, clean them up, and you've been actually doing a good job with your cleaning. Yes. And I think one of the success rates is because you can take this out and clean Yes. It. Oh, absolutely. Yes. So for certain patients, we would do all in four. Other patients, we would do this. The angle of the implants, which we showed in the presentation that you saw, the angle of the implants was off on this case. They were done in another office, um, and you were a little bit frustrated with that dentist? Yes, yes, yes. Terrible pain. Couldn't clean them. My bite was off. Terrible jaw pain. It, it was just, didn't fit. No. Didn't fit. So we, we uh, I think we've done some success. This is an insurance marker for me, is making sure that we're keeping the forces turned way down at nighttime because she is a powerhouse. She can bite very hard. Let's just take these out. 
but you can just make this appliance on any bridge work or on natural teeth and and this is something someone else has invented not me but you can see as she bites together she hasn't lost any vertical dimension of occlusion which is good and uh, she's biting porcelain against resin I like that system too so that we have an offset of forces so if she started to grind which she's not doing then we would be able to grind the plastic teeth down or the acrylic teeth and then on the lower these are just not going to be ground down so anyway she's doing fantastic with it any other things you'd say to someone about this type of process get it get it done <laughs> Yeah, you look fantastic with it. Yeah. Okay, my well, smile's better, my talking is better, my eating is better. They're just like my normal teeth. Yeah, well, thanks for saying that, Winnie. You're very well. That's why we practice dentistry, is to hear a nice calm. Yes, it is, just like my normal teeth. Thanks so much. Yeah.